All right, guys, on these grid heaters. I have mine disconnected. I'm not promoting disconnecting them or keeping them connected. That's up to you. Um, my concern is the issues that quite a few rams have had where the grid heater bolt drops off into the intake manifold and trashes the engine. Down here in the south, I really don't need it. I've cranked my truck probably uh, below freezing several times without any issues. But if it throws a code, it's not a big deal at all. Uh, the best way to do it is just go straight to start. Don't wait around for the grid heater to heat since it's not gonna be connected. But usually it's right here. Uh, on the 13 through 18s, it's gonna be connected right here. I took mine off and I just taped it right here. So if I can do that with my old shaky hands. See, I got, this, got it taped up right here on the negative side because it's ground now. You can touch any, any ground with this and it won't, it won't cause any problems. Now, as far as the grid heater itself, it's a very, very simple circuit. Um, you can't see it, but there's a solenoid down in there. And all you're doing is just disconnecting the solenoid. And then it comes over here to the uh, other side of the engine. And let me see if I can light that up. You see that bolt right there where the white dot is? Okay, that's where the grid heater comes into the engine, into the intake. And that's where the problem is. If you reach down there and do the, what they call a jiggle test, and I've got a video on this already, but I just wanted to kind of readdress this. If you shake that and it's loose, you've got a problem and you don't want to run that engine until you get it fixed because that bolt could drop off into the um, intake manifold, get into one of the cylinders, which it will, and uh, you'll have a ruined engine. So uh, it's too bad that Ram hadn't addressed this. There's been quite a few over the years. I've had people go out and do the jiggle test after watching a video and find out that sure as hell theirs is, is loose. So, uh, you know, just keep it in mind. Like I said, I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't. Uh, that's up to you. I don't need mine. I don't see any purpose for it down here. The truck cranks just fine. Everybody should have a $20 code reader that they carry with them, code clearer. So that's a must on these emission equipment trucks. But nonetheless, just wanted to share that with you. So I appreciate you guys watching my video and until next time, adios.